All right, let's create a versatile third-person camera using the CinemaChine in Unity. We'll create something like this with some smooth interactions. Let's get started. For a third-person camera system, we're going to download CinemaChine. So we'll go to Window, Package Manager, and then you can type in CinemaChine, and you'll find that. And I've already got it downloaded, but you'll need to click download and then install. All right, we can go ahead and close this window out. There is a whole CinemaChine manual you can get online and look through the documentation for help as well. Let's go up to our main menu to CinemaChine and click Create Virtual Camera. This is what we'll be using to control the main camera and over in the inspector we have a bunch of settings and if we click on our main camera you'll see we have the CinemaChine brain. This is what is allowing the virtual camera to control the main camera. Let's go ahead and minimize these warnings here for now and you'll see we have follow and look at. We're going to drag in our player to the follow slot so our camera will follow. So we're going to do for right now, we're going to leave the default settings. Open up the body section. We've got a few options in the drop down, but we're going to change this to framing transposer. Ooh, so colorful. Now we have red and blue. What do you know? And we've got these crosshairs here in the middle. So we can play test it at the same time, but you'll see here the blue area is what we call the soft zone in which the camera reorients itself to following the player. You can see the yellow square based on the dampening settings. Now, depending on your character, although we haven't replaced our character yet, um, you're going to want to change a few settings. For right now, we can change our rotation, maybe 40, and we can set our Y rotation to zero and our Z rotation to zero. So it's looking straight on. Now if we go to our body section, we can zoom into our character a little bit. If we look at the screen X and screen Y and the camera distance. So right now at camera distance, we could try changing this up. We can just drag it and see where maybe we like that. For now, maybe I'll set that to eight. We may change that later based on our character game object when we we swap out the graphics. But for now, we'll set that as eight. That feels pretty good. Play test your game and find what what really feels right. Now let's set up a third person camera that we can use to orbit around our character. So the first thing that we're going to do, let's go ahead and delete this virtual camera here. And we're going to add in the free look camera. You'll see over our inspector here, we have the follow and look at. We're going to drag in our player for both of those. Now, if we select our free look, see we look around. You got to make sure your gizmos are on. So I'm going to click this and you'll see we get three red circles right this is going to be three separate rigs that the camera can transition to you can kind of see there's a red line connecting them this kind of moon shape okay if we look over in our settings in the inspector we can minimize some of these and you can see we've got our top rig middle rig and bottom rig we're going to set these settings to match our ball. So for a taller character in our game, we'd want to change the settings. But since we have a lot shorter, we're going to do kind of similar, but we're going to set this top rig to five and the radius to seven. So we get a wider top area for the camera to go to. And then three, a radius of five, and the height for now will do zero and a radius of 3.5. Then we can go ahead and test this out. We'll click play and show you how this works. So we're not going to move around yet. 
So what we can do is if we move our mouse up, up will zoom out, and this is using that top rig, how far out, whereas if we go down, right, then we'll get that lowest point, the bottom rig circle of where our camera would be, which we may need in some circumstances. We might want that. And if we go back up and down, and then you can also see going left and right will rotate the camera or orbit the camera around our scene. So we'll go ahead and turn off play. Now we still need to change a few settings for this to kind of work with our character controls. And we may come back and still adjust these settings after we've play tested. If you have an animated character, then the camera may look at the character's feet or you might run into other things. So what we're going to do is for our player, we can go into our prefab mode. And I'm going to right click on the player and create an empty. And we're going to call this camera focus and then we can go ahead and save our changes on our free look camera now we can drag in the camera focus to both our follow and look at and then we can easily be able to grab our focus and move it up and down if need be depending on what what kind of character we import later on let's open up our player movement script we need a variable for our camera transform. So we can just go ahead and get the serialize field. So now we need to create a new rotation with just the Y rotation of the camera. And we're gonna do this in the update method method modifying the movement direction because we only want to change it based on the rotation of the camera around the y-axis. So right here before we normalize our movement direction So for this, we're going to use Quaternion Angle Axis, which is going to create the rotation, which rotates angle degrees around an axis. We're going to pass in the angles property from our camera rotation. We'll go ahead and set the axis of rotation around the Y axis by just using our shorthand vector3.up. And then we want to times this by our movement direction. All right, so make you make sure you save that before we play test is we're going to also set the cursor to be invisible. We're going to hide the cursor. So let's scroll down to the bottom here. First thing that we want to do is check to see if our focus parameter is set to true. So we can simply say if focus, which assumes that it's true. So if this is true, it means our application has the focus and we can go ahead and set the cursor lock state to be locked. And that looks like. So this is going to hide and lock the cursor to the center of the view. If our application doesn't have focus, we'll add an else statement and set the lock state to none. Save this and select our player and you'll see the camera transform is not assigned. Now we want to assign our main camera because our main camera is what is actually rotating around, orbiting around. Our free look cine machine is con just controlling our main camera. So now let's play test and try this out. So now wherever our camera is looking, when we press forward, it will move forward. So you can press escape and turn off play. And another feature that we can enable to have the camera automatically realign itself to face whatever direction the character is moving we can set that up we're going to stop the game and select our free look right find the orbit section and you'll see binding mode is set to simple follow we'll change that to lock to target on assign now if we play test 
and if we had enough space you would see that the character would walk in a circle there we go as the camera tries to realign itself So another issue right now we're having is when we move around, you can see obstacles can get in the way and we can't see the player. And we can use another special component to fix this. So on our free look camera, we can scroll down and look for add extensions at the bottom. We'll click that drop down and we're going to add in the cinema machine collider and here this will check to see if the view of our target is being blocked and it'll try to automatically fix or resolve this and there are listed here some strategies the strategy or category here drop down where we could pull the camera forward preserve the camera height or preserve camera distance and have it move around we can change this to preserve camera distance distance and test that out and we have several settings for that that we could check out now to get specific information on this a shortcut would be to just click the question mark here and you can get a breakdown for each of these and what you might like because depending on what character you replace this with you're going to want to change these settings so that it will move around your obstacles then when we go behind our object you can see the camera is going to snap so we'll go ahead and change some of these. So we've got some dampening settings and we can even hover our mouse over here. So gradually the camera moves to resolve and occlusion. Higher numbers will move the camera more gradually. So we can try maybe two. And then this only changes for when the camera is blocked by an obstacle. But we also, going back to the normal camera position, we also want it to have the damping. So we're going to change that to 2 for right now. We need to test those out to see, is it really going smooth enough, or is it going too slow or too fast, and what we need to change those to. So in reading the documentation, if you notice from the controls, when you're moving, when you're moving your mouse to the right, uh, it doesn't move in that, rotate in that direction that you're going, and that's the axis. So it should be the x-axis, the invert box. So we can just change that off so it's not inverted. Neither one of these should be on. We just want normal controls, and we'll save this. And now we can play test. I'm going to go ahead and do maximize on play. And now when my mouse goes to the right, it looks like I'm turning, rotating to the right, right? Or to the left, and then I'm looking on the left side. And then I can move my controls. And then you can test when you get behind something, you can see the camera here is moving up or down on my artwork. And if I go behind a wall, the camera moves up and adjust so that we can see our player. So I readjusted by settings for the top, middle, and bottom rig. This is what I kind of liked playing it and it felt really nice so adjust as needed but here I can kind of zoom in and I can also move up to zoom out and it feels really nice and smooth go into the corner here and we can get around there we go and it feels nice